know what I mean, in their midst. So how much more powerful that, yeah, you're praying for it, but how much more powerful when someone else can join you in prayer? You know, I just, to me, it's like, I know there are some people that think, oh, it's weird to ask for prayers. I take advantage of it. Like, if I need something, I text everyone, can you please pray for me? Or like, um, the fires going on in LA, like, this is all new to me, you know? Like, I walked outside, and I'm like, why does it smell weird? And I was like, oh my god, the fire's like, really? I didn't think it could affect me like this. Um, I texted all my friends and my family back home, and I was like, can you please pray for LA? Because they're going through two fires right now. I don't know who's being affected. Pray for my friends. I don't know where anyone is. And they all texted me back. They're like, yes, we're praying for you, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, okay, thanks. Like, I love it. I can turn to anyone for prayers, you know? And that's what's so fun about this community. Because I can't keep praying sometimes by myself. Because honestly, sometimes I get tired. And I'm like, I don't want to pray about it anymore. I'm mad. Like, whatever. But if someone else prayed for me, then thank you, you know? But that's what's great. So sometimes we just can't do it. So next week, you know, when you are with your discussion group leader, ask them to pray for you first stuff. You know, it's so powerful. Promise, promise, promise. Um, and I love being a prayer warrior. So just tell me and I'll pray for you too. Um, yes. And, okay, so going into that for next week. So we're going down this, like, path, right, where God is, like, right there. He's holding your hand and it's good, you know. But there's two sides to everything where there's good, there's evil. And the enemy, you guys know who I'm talking about, he doesn't like it. <laughs> You know, he had you in his grip, you know, in his grip, and we were doing the things that we wanted to do, the sins we wanted to commit, you know, and then all of a sudden we're like, hey, I'm done with you. Kind of like when um, Sigma did that awesome skit, man, about like, she was getting into the parties, into the drugs, into the self-image, and then she realized it was leaving her empty, and she wanted to go back to God. But all those people in black just wanted to keep her. They didn't want to let her go. Even though they didn't love her, they just didn't want her to be on that side. They want her to be on her side, you know? Like, that's so powerful to me because that's just how it is. You know, we can lie to ourselves and say that the drugs and the getting drunk and the premarital sex is great now, but in the end, that's not, it's not the fulfilling thing in our lives, you know? And when we start to realize it and try to back away from it, there's going to be so much more crap to try to pull us back. So, the Christian life isn't easy. You know, we've been told many times, walking that walk is not easy. It's really hard. Especially this week, when you're on your way to getting prayed over, when you're on your way to saying, yes, I want to be consumed by the Holy Spirit, someone's going to be like, heck no, you are not going there. You are going to stay with me. You know, and it's going to try to change your mind. Like, for example, I'm getting this talk of the Holy Spirit, right? So come Friday, I called somebody. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so nice out. It's 90 degrees. It's November. Oh my gosh. Like, it's snowing in Chicago. So I had to, like, be joyful about this. I'm like, I'm wearing, like, flip-flops and a tank top. It's Friday. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be an easy work day. Ten minutes later, someone rear-ended me on the freaking freeway. I was like, no, are you kidding me? I was just saying how it's going to be a good day, Lord. And then I was like, you know what? It's still going to be a good day because I'm alive. My baby's okay. Her name's Angel. She has a license plate imprinted on her back bumper, but it's okay. I can get that fixed. It wasn't my fault. Somebody hit me. And it's just ironic. You know, I'm here going, oh, thank God. It's going to be so nice that it's the week, or it's so nice that it's the weekend. And then I get hit. It's like, really? Do I need this now? Without the Holy Spirit working in my life, my day would have just gone to hell from that point forward, you know? It would have been over. Like, I would have been like, you know, screw this, I don't want to give a talk, I'm not in the mood, blah, blah, blah. I've heard it so many times. But, because I was like, no, I'm letting the Holy Spirit win this for me. I'm okay, you know? Like, I told the guy, the two guys that got into the accident, it was a three car. I was like, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but have a good day, and they were like, well, I guess it can't get any worse than this, right? And I was like, and the guy that hit me, he hit me back because the person behind him hit him. So he was like, I'm just really pissed off right now. And I'm like, I know, I understand. Whereas for me, everyone's like, are you okay? Are you mad? I'm like, not really. Like, I mean, it sucks. I hate it that my freaking car is like beat up right now, but it's okay because, you know, I'm okay. I can drive my car. Um, I have so many friends and family that are like, are you okay? Like, I'm loved, you know? like. 
I had a job to go to after that. Like, I really couldn't have a bad day anyway. So I prayed for the guys that hit me because I know that they had a bad day. I don't know. I'm not saying they don't have the Holy Spirit in their life. But when they're like, I'm really pissed off, I'm like, but it's so nice out. You know, it's like, you can't tell that to somebody when they're really mad. But like, I wanted to. I was like, okay, well, God bless you. Like, you know, I just hope that that prayer kept them from having an even worse day. Because that, you know, 8 a.m. when you get your car hit and then things go wrong after that, like, it's just one of those things where you're like, is this day going to get any better? But... It's those days where I'm like, God, keep all of God, you know? So, I'm not saying bad things are going to happen to you this week, okay? I'm just saying that. Be on guard. <laughs> because cause there's forces out there that don't want you to be happy in God's love. They don't want you to have the Holy Spirit in you. They want you to, to be in your misery, you know? Misery loves company. They want you to join them. Don't join them, you know? Know that. Even if something happens to you, like on a bad Monday, it'll get better on Tuesday. Or know that someone's praying for you. You know, believe me, the whole service team, we're praying for all of you guys every day. Um, so when you feel like no one's praying for you, trust someone's praying for you. I'm praying for you. Someone's praying for you. Your discussion group leader is praying for you. So no matter how crappy your week might be or how great it is, someone's praying for you, no matter what. So, like I said, not that I'm saying you guys are going to have a bad week. I'm just saying be on guard. And I hope that nothing happens for you to say, you know what, I don't want to go on Saturday. I hope you guys come anyway. So yeah. Um, and again, you're going to meet with your discussion group leader this week. Hopefully you can really talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Ask for whatever one you want or a couple that you want. Um, and your true intentions for the CLP now. I think you guys have learned enough. We're all adults. Is this, you know, is this really the lifestyle that I really want to go through? One with Christ. I hope everyone's answer is yes. You know, but why? You know? Really just have pure intentions. Um, and again, know that everyone is praying for you. So, that's the life of the Holy Spirit. It's not easy, but it's totally doable. And when you really immerse yourself in it, it's amazing. You know, and we all go through it. We all have our ups and downs. And that's why I love this community. is because I can share these kinds of stories. And no one will think I'm weird. Versus like, you know, anywhere else. I don't know. They'll just be like, what? Holy Spirit, huh? Like, really, Merry Christmas? I don't know. Somebody asked me at work the other day if I prayed over my food, and I said yes. They're like, really? You must be really religious. And I was like, I love God. I don't know. Like, I was like, I pray over my food because I'm thankful that I have food. And again, the only reason I'm, I can be bold about my faith now is because of the Holy Spirit, you know? Um, it gives me the power to say, yo, what's up? You know? Whatever. But, um... That's my life in the Holy Spirit. Everyone has their own story. I can't wait for you guys to start your own stories. Um, and this is truly the life that God wants us all to have. So be open to it. I hope you guys, you know, eventually, like, really desire it. And then next week when we all pray together, um, truly, truly be open for God to move in your heart and your life with the Holy Spirit. For that, may God be praised.